Howdy and welcome to another episode of Breaking the Seal. If you're interested in knowing that blue is the best flavor that there just is out there, it's, it's just blue, just agree with me, okay? Thank you. Go ahead and hit the like button. And if you would like to continue to learn that blue is the best flavor available, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button because it just is. Uh, you can't argue with that. It simply is a fact of life. Is the sky blue? Yes. The end of story. What does that have to do today? Well, uh, I'm a little late to the party. and We're running out of time. April 5th. No, we're past April 5th. May is after April 5th. Burger King cotton candy with cold foam cloud on top will be out of stock. So I'm late to this. Better get over there pretty quickly because this thing is blue and it looks like it's already filled with clouds. I made sure to get this cold foam on top of it. I'm really excited to see what it tastes like. It's cotton candy, which is honestly a pretty typical blue flavor. It's either cotton candy or it's blue raspberry. And I mean, like that might actually be all the blue flavors that there are, but the novelty of something that is outright, well, blueberry is something outright blue. It's not a typically occurring color in nature. So it has that cool idea to it that you're drinking something unnatural and you should take pride in that. Now, the, the cloud on top is leaking out and it's probably gonna go into the atmosphere and I'm gonna get fined by the FDA for that. So I might as well take care of that before they find me in this YouTube video that's going onto the internet. Did I get anything? I think I got something there. Hold up, I just need to lick this because I, I don't know if I actually got it. Is there even any on there? Okay, I guess that's foam. I don't know, that's a little bizarre. What would I describe that as? I guess a vanilla cream, a heavy cream perhaps? I don't know, I'm not a cream aficionado. I really need to expand my horizon there on the cream side of things. I'm just not used to having cream. I tried making my own eggnog the other day. It came out very liquidy. It was just kind of like sweet milk with egg yolk. Uh, not quite eggnog. I've done enough videos on eggnog. I know what eggnog is supposed to taste like. It wasn't eggnog. Anyways, let's go ahead and try the blue cotton candy flavor. Or the whole reason that you clicked on this video because you're here because of blue. Hmm. Okay, now if you were to compare this to Icy's blue, well, I mean, this is cotton candy flavor. You know what? This is somewhat reminiscent of the Rita's cotton candy. If you're familiar with Rita's blue cotton candy, you're gonna feel pretty at home with this one right here. Except this one's a drink as opposed to something that you need to scoop out with the straw. You can't really drink Rita's with the straw unless you get the Misto shake. I've tried it a couple times. It just doesn't really work out that way. It is easier to drink than an icy as well and icy you're kind of sucking it up you're getting chunks of ice up there which is a texture profile in its own right i'm not saying it's bad this is smooth so it's oh gosh how would i describe that okay i take that back it's probably about as difficult to drink as an icy but because as you drink it you're kind of taking away a space you're creating a void as you drink it and it's all disappearing like what Zahando does so that you got to keep that in mind and you got to move your straw around in order to mix it up to get more of it but it's just so smooth it's soft like a cloud that's wild that they did that oh you got me good Burger King good job you really did it this time um anyways this is a wonderful little experience a medium was like three dollars for me almost three dollars 159 for if you do it with that it's cheaper if you get it without the cold foam and quite frankly the cold foam i don't think it really adds that much i'm a little disappointed with that and i would be a terrible reviewer if i didn't make my wife upset because she wanted to try these fiery nugs these buffalo nugs comes in an eight pack so she whew, I'm already scared already. It comes in an eight pack. She's going to get seven of these because I don't tolerate spice well and I have to do this for the channel. So are the Buffalo Nugs as good as the Ghost Pepper Nugs? Because the Ghost Pepper Nugs were spectacular. Definitely greasy. Like exceptionally greasy. I'm very surprised. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, greasy. Gets on your fingers. It's a Burger King nugget. It is definitely thoroughly buffalo spicy. However, I think I can tolerate one nugget just fine. I'm definitely feeling the heat. I'm getting a little, little bit of sweat going on. Would I recommend it? If buffalo is your thing, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hot for me. If buffalo is your thing, go for it. Buffalo ain't my thing. I'm gonna leave that one alone. I like the ghost pepper because it was a it was a drier spice. I felt like it had more of a flavor profile to it than buffalo. I don't know. Buffalo just does something to me. I'm I just can't tolerate it. I need some more cloud. And if you enjoy this type of content, I would love to see you back on the next one. Bye.